Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 34th video in this Facebook marketing course. So guys, if you are not able to grow your Facebook page or you are not able to gather the perfect followers for your page, well, probably you are not analyzing the data of your Facebook page analytics. Because once we start analyzing the data, we work according to that. And working according to data means definitely a growth. Well, there are more factors behind your Facebook page's growth, but analyzing your Facebook page's data and working according to that is one of the most prominent factor that can help you to grow your Facebook page. So let's get into the video and understand how to check Facebook page analytics and how you can work and get followers on your Facebook page. Let's go. So guys, as you can see, I have logged in into my Facebook account. Now, in order to check my Facebook page's data, I have to first log in with my Facebook page. Okay, right now I am right now I have logged in with my Facebook profile. Once I click here in this account option, I'll be able to see all profile options. And I have to click here because Facebook have changed their Facebook pages into profiles as well, which means your profile and the Facebook page profile are the same. As you can see here, this is my profile and these are my pages. So these are coming in the profile section. So let's go with this page right now. This is a cricket based page where I post news and the content related to cricket. Okay. So as you can see, I have logged in into this page profile and this is the timeline. Now, in order to check the data, you just have to click on this professional dashboard. Okay, because this is kind of a professional thing, right? So once you click here, you'll be able to see this overview section. As you can see here, page overview and already you are able to see some kind of data over here. Post reach, post engagement, new page likes. So this is a glimpse of your data. Okay. And now in the inside section, this is the open section. And if you want to close, you can close this as well. In inside section, you will be able to see home, your page, your post and audience. And once I click on home, here also I'll be able to see all the glimpse of my uh, pages data. As you can see here, 59,000 followers and post reach, engagement, new page likes, new followers. And below this, we have some recent content, then the audience. So this is the glimpse of your data. And if you want to check your data about post wise, so you have to click here. So it will show all the data related to your post. So right now we don't have recent posts. That's why we are not able to see, but you can click new post by clicking on this button if you want to. Okay. Also, you know how to create a post, right? Then in audience section, we'll be able to see data related to our audience. Okay. So as you can see here, so this is the overview. You can say the overview or you can say not that much deep data. Now, in order to access to the deep, which means the data which can help you really help you to grow your Facebook page. Okay. In order to access that deep data, we have to go to Meta Business Suite by which we run ads as well. Okay. So once we click here, we'll be able to see all the data related to our page. And if you use this data to work on your page, then definitely you'll see a drastic growth on your page. So let's click on view all insights and here's the data as you can see here. Okay. Now we'll talk about all the sections one by one. So let's start with the overview section. So you all know about what we see in the overview section. Okay. So this is the data which we are seeing is about last 28 days. Okay. And in last 28 days, we got 360 page reach. Okay. Then we scroll a little bit down. We'll be able to see where to grow your reach, but we haven't posted uh, the content recently or you can say frequently okay so post and stories are zero zero here in audience section we have followers which is 59,637 okay and you can see that who is the exact followers I mean the age bar the gender you can see here as you can see here in 18 to 24 we have 3.1 percent women and 35.3 percent men and 25 to 34 age bar we have 4.1 percent women and 31 percent men so that's how you can check data and create according to this data. I mean, create your post content or page content according to this data. This will gonna help you to create more relatable content that your audience will gonna definitely like. Okay. And in messaging section, we, we are able to see message conversation started 0%, new message connections 0%. So we haven't replied or we got, didn't got any message in last 28 days. That's why we are seeing 0, 0 over here and approximate earnings from messaging conversations. 
so definitely we haven't talked with anyone so how we would get money right so this is the overview section as you can see there is not that much enough data that gonna help you but in these sections we will be able to see all the data all the precious data that can help you to create more relatable content that your audience will gonna connect and engage okay now in results as you know the first one is page reach then we have facebook page visits so how many people have visited your facebook page in last 28 days so this is the data 91 uh, people have visited my page in last 28 days and if i increase this data to this year let's say this year okay now as you can see the data is changed a little bit now in last one year i have got the reach around 4 lakh okay and the page visit is around 1200 then new page like is around 329 okay so this is the results main results of my page okay and in the audience section the main thing is your followers they are the audience right so in the audience section we'll be able to see our followers number of followers then we'll be able to see age and gender data then we have here top cities from where your followers are okay so i live in india so these are these all cities are in india okay the first one is delhi then mumbai then ahmedabad then jaipur so these are the cities in which my post gets engaged and my top followers are from delhi then from mumbai then ahmedabad and so on and so forth now we have top countries as well and my top countries in the list of top countries india is the first one and why it is india because I create content according to Indian audience. That's why I'm getting only Indian audience. Okay. And in my other pages, I have some American audience as well. Some European audience as well. So you have to be precise sometimes to while creating content. And this strategy will gonna help you to get more engagement, more page likes and more followers. Okay. Now, so that's it with this audience section and we have one more option over here potential audience so if we click on this we'll be able to see our potential our pages potential uh, audience and this is the data which we can use to run ads as well okay show you how you can run ads on this particular number of audience in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for that video now let's go to the next section that is feedback so feedback uh, section we have only zero responses and zero average rating because we haven't got any feedback from our followers till in last one year and that's because uh, we are not working actively on this page okay that's why the reason we are not getting any feedback here but if you have in your page you'll be able to see the numbers over here okay then in benchmarking you can benchmark yourself you can add some uh, other businesses and other competitor businesses and after adding you can compare yourself with those pages that how much you are performing how much they are performing right so that you can work according to that now after benchmarking section we have content section and in content section we have first overview so in the overview of content section we will be able to see the reach because we don't have reach in the last 90 days that's why it is showing zero so basically this is a comparison between last 90 days and the prior 90 days so in last 90 days we got zero reach post reach basically post reach okay and we are not talking about page reach this is basically post reach so in last 90 days we got zero post reach and in prior 90 days we got 2.3k post reach so these all the data are related to your content are related to your post only okay post and stories so basically mainly we have zero data here as you can see here engagement is also zero and one more thing to note here that you are able to see the data only about last 90 days and prior 90 days so make sure that you are analyzing the data properly otherwise this will make you confused as well okay and now in top performing organic post we don't have any post right now otherwise we would be able to see posts over here like the highest reach on post then highest reaction on a post highest comments on a post we would be able to see the post over here although we don't have now in facebook story section we'll be able to see a data related to our story that how much reach we got how much engagement we got and top performing stories as well so that's how your content overview works then in content section 
here are all the content which we have published in our facebook page and the data related to those posts uh, let me close this so as you can see here the last post was on 6th of july and got around 2.3k reach and nine reactions likes or reactions okay then there's one more which got 12,000 reach and that's how we have posted our content as you can see here okay so these are the posts or the content which we have published over that time now let's go to messaging overview so as you have seen earlier that we haven't got any message from a long time so you'll be able to see zero zero as well as you can see here zero messaging zero percent messaging conversation started new messaging connection is one only okay all the data is zero but if you are actively working on your page you'll be able to see some numbers over here that how much time you are starting a conversation with your followers and as a business you can convert them as well and make them to purchase your service or product as well and that data will be shown here okay approximate earnings from messaging conversations right also here's one more metric that is order from messaging conversations so how much order you got from your messaging conversations so this will be the percentage and the number of orders so if you are a business then this data will be very important or very crucial for you then in videos we have some more options over here in the performance section we'll be able to see all the main performance related to the videos which we have published so this is the data as you can see here the first matrix says 1.1k which means 1.1k minutes our videos have watched and then we have the number of videos which is around one minute so with we have 15 videos which is around one minute then we have one minute video views and we got 15 views in one minute videos okay then we got three second video views and that is a bit num and that is a bit high it is around 6.6k because three second is not a significant number right that is, that is not a significant time you just you can watch for three seconds and then scroll then we have some more over data over here post reaction comment and shares so we got 195 reaction which means uh, mainly this is engagement right then net followers so how much followers we gained or we lost over the period of time so this is we lost around 539 and why this is happening because we are not working in this page actively as you know right now here also you will be able to see that particular data in a graph view and here are top performers top performing videos you, ha you have published okay this is the video which have been viewed over 378 minutes then 275 144 131 so all the matrix has been counted in minutes not in hours like if you if we talk about youtube all the matrix or the watch time gets counted in hours but in facebook the watch time gets counted in minutes okay now let's scroll a little bit down and in with benchmarking option we'll be able to compare our videos to other competitors videos as well so we don't have any activity over here also we have only zero activities but if you want to compare you can then in audience section you'll be able to see all the audience who are interacting with your videos only okay so right now the matrix is in very bad condition because we are not working on this right then we have loyalty so basically this shows that how much loyal your followers are and you'll be able to see that how much new followers you are getting and how much your old followers are performing on your page okay then we have retention in the retention section you'll be able to see from where your views are coming okay so we have three matrix over here the first one is recommendation so 4.86 percent views are coming from recommendations then we have followers so 53.8 percent uh, views are coming from followers then we have at the end shares people are also sharing our uh, content as well so create content that is shareable engageable and likable also that comes under engagement right so mainly creating a shareable content is the best way to gain new followers okay so keep that in mind and work according to that then we have how long people are watching for so 6.6k people have watched for only three seconds then 4.7k have watched for 15 seconds then 15 only 15 people have watched for one minute so this is the data which can help you to create more engaging content or you can say more engaging video content only then at the end we have earning section 
which everyone want to talk about well in ending section we'll be able to see zero everything is zero right now but if we start working properly then we'll be able to see some kind of a number over here and the best part is that the number can be transferred to your bank as well so work on your page properly and you'll be able to earn some extra cash with your videos with your content you are publishing on your facebook page okay so i hope you understand the video i hope you like the video and if you do please hit that subscribe and like button if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye Thank you.